morning, everybody. It is May 11th, 2022. Today is going to be an actual quick recap of all things patch notes. Now, our hero Masha took us through the fire and flames by himself this week and revealed exciting and new additions to the game. I'm not looking at you, Mort. First and foremost, a new chapter was added to episode 4 which added both new content for lore enjoyers and especially change for our favorite main heroine. A few pros to the new Aiden, first and foremost she provides death pet to fire element allies so she's a great addition to any grass pve fights. She also has an aoe counter ship that can be procced every 2 turns that increases her speed which is pretty reminiscent of Mui and does decent damage but gives speed buff instead of a debuff. Eh, okay, useful. Now, the biggest upside to Aiden though in my opinion is actually that she gives attack buff to any any and all fire elemental allies for two turns when using S3, which does set up for a fairly strong death break into attack buff combo. If you pair the wolf of flame buff that she provides with death break, pen set, and attack buff, you're definitely killing that grass expo or golem. Speaking of PvE, we have the long awaited return of Ancient Inheritance. This time around, we've got more rewards, memos to stop you from inting, decreased requirements to enter, things got easier to clear. Okay, honestly, just look at the actual Stofos, there's like a dozen quality of life changes. All of them being good though. In general, a great return of content that I think brought most guilds together and I guess others apart. Rest in peace, lazy guilds and guild members. Now, onto the PvP changes. In an unbelievable turn of events, these EEs all seem to be pretty interesting or decent additions. Emil Kawazu could use the attack and maybe the immunity CR or silence. Honestly, never use this guy, but I'm sure this is a tiny nudge in the right direction. Dien is now a 113 speed soul weaver, even before adding the 15 speed to RTA, who can now CR push the whole team with their skill too. The so Hawk can maybe kill an APOC Ravi without realizing he's just the worst version of Hua Young. All jokes aside though, these units actually do appreciate these changes, and if nothing else, having these stat additions is actually pretty sweet. Now for the drop rate banners, you can expect a sunny forecast of Lilius and Politus with a chance of I'm not pulling for Mort, and the new mystic rotation of May Chloe, ML Ken, and ML Haste is okay. Honestly, none of the mystic units are super crazy, so it might be in your best interest to save your mystic medals for now. On a tiny unrelated but pretty significant note, a new quality of life change was added to warn you when you're using a bottle of knowledge specifically for upgrading, which is actually much appreciated from an avid, I'm not paying attention to my screen player. Now then, this patch was actually pretty decent despite the short length of the stream with pretty exciting changes to PvE, hopeful changes to 3 PvP units, and a pretty good balance of PvP and PvE units actually coming to the drop rate banner. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tingling the good old bell, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye